Hello and welcome to Abercrombie TV Newsroom Report. I am Margie McLean. And I am Ruth Smith. Have you heard of Fortnite? According to Match in US, Fortnite is one of the most popular video games globally with over 125 million players across all platforms and a total of 40 million players logging on to every month. Fortnite was released in July 2017, originally as a zombie defence game, but the Battle Royale game mode was later released in September 2017. Fortnite Battle Royale is a game where up to a hundred players can play against each other at the same time. Uh, I play it quite a lot, a day, really. If you're playing on the right game uh, and you're playing on a local server, they can hack into uh, your accounts. Then they can log into that and uh, log into other stuff. From there, they could know where you live if you put in your house. Older people shouldn't really be playing a game that's meant for children. The makers of Fortnite have made up a tournament where players can go against each other to win money. Uh, children of any age are spending hours on these things without any regulation from outside. It's got to be down to parents and those in the home to, uh, to be proactive in terms of working out what they are doing and what the dangers are. For our recent studies, we believe that Fortnite should be raised to an age rating of 18, which is the same as GTA because it's only a 12 plus. The game has scenes of violence and has context of swearing. We created the survey to find out what years play the most Fortnite. Our study showed that the younger the year, the more people that play Fortnite. Over 50% of year 7 play it regardless of being under the age of the game rating. So shock tactics are appropriate, you know, I mean children need to know that uh, sometimes other children have been groomed through these platforms, uh, you know, and have got themselves into serious difficulty or danger. What I've seen on YouTube and videos online, there are a lot of children online that play the game. Fortnite should have its age rating boosted to an 18, as it shows scenes of violence and you can talk to people which you don't actually know. Parents should be strict with what games they let their children play and for how many hours per day. We have worked with um, police liaison and, and other external bodies to come into school to talk to children uh, through PSE classes and we've also held sort of these safety meetings and briefings for parents as well. Not as well attended as I would like but uh, you know certainly the offer is there for parents. So do you think the government should do something about this and what are you going to do to keep yourself and loved ones safe on the internet? This has been Year 12's Upper Conway TV's Newsroom Report.